Good morning. It's Friday, December 11th. On today's World Watch show over at WorldWatch.News, Federal Trade Commission trying to break up Facebook. What that could mean to the tech company, as well as WhatsApp and Instagram. And bringing back the beaver to Britain. How the country's reintroducing the toothy creatures to restore water to areas dried out hundreds of years ago. Now, here's Top Story. Well, to be honest with you, I don't know much about our next story, except that Hannah Harris tells me it might make my skin crawl. Hannah, I'm afraid to ask, but what are we talking about here? Brian, how do you feel about scorpions? Uh, I'm not a fan. Well, you might become one after this story. Several years ago, a young Egyptian man abandoned his degree in archaeology to hunt scorpions. No, he doesn't keep them as pets. He extracts their venom and sells it. At just 25 years old, Mohammed Hamdi Bashta is the owner of the Cairo Venom Company. The operation houses 80,000 scorpions in various farms across Egypt. Oh, and Bashta has venomous snakes too. <laughs> just keeps getting better, right? Bashta and his team catch the scorpions in the desert at night using a colored UV light. To extract the venom, he holds the end of the scorpion's abdomen, called the telson. If he hangs onto that part, the scorpion can't sting him. Then he applies salt water to the vesicles. Then he exposes the scorpion to a tiny electric current to stimulate the release of the venom. And out comes one tiny drop. It might not look like much, but one gram of scorpion venom can fetch $10,000. We've got much more on our website, worldwatch.news. Go find our full 10 minute program there. Plus you'll be able to watch standalone feature stories or view the newscast. Get a quick snapshot of the news of the day and then continue on your way. Go there right now and sign up. That's worldwatch.news. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.